Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just want to give you a quick reminder that I'm going to be giving away an $8 million Megalodon shark card to one lucky person for the Diamond Casino Heist update that'll be arriving in just a couple of days in Grand Theft Auto Online. That giveaway is happening on my Twitter account, so I'll leave a link to that in the description, and I should be announcing the winner in like a day or two. And again, one lucky person will be ultra prepared now for the new heist update. And a lot of you guys have also been wondering over the next couple of days, do you think we'll be getting any more information from Rockstar? I don't know. I feel like this would have been a big enough update where they would have wanted to like keep giving us hints and clues and a trailer and stuff like that. But ever since that little teaser they did and then the announcement where they featured like the artwork, we haven't heard anything from them since. So maybe they're just going to keep this whole thing mostly a surprise until the update actually arrives. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video we're going to be talking about the release time of the Diamond Casino Heist. Also, can we expect to get some of the new content early and a whole lot more. So as you guys know, last week Rockstar confirmed that the Diamond Casino Heist is going to launch in Grand Theft Auto Online on December 12th, which is just in a couple of days and it's this Thursday. However, a lot of people still don't know when the update is actually going to be releasing on all the different consoles and PC and at what time. And this is actually really important for some people because some people might still be in school, others might have work and they might want to plan their day around this release or they might just want to, you know, be able to get up at a certain time so that they can enjoy some of the content before they have to get into their daily routine and schedule. So let's talk about when Rockstar have released all the DLCs in the past, with the exception of one. And ironically enough, that was the original heist update. That actually released at midnight Eastern Standard Time on the day that it came out, which would be about 9 p.m. Uh, on the West Coast of the United States, and it would be around 5 or 6 a.m. in the U.K. and Europe. That's the only DLC that has come out at this weird time. I don't know why that was the case, but ever since then, we have always seen the updates come out at around 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I know that not everyone lives on the East Coast of the United States, so what I'll actually do is leave a time converter site in the description, and essentially all you have to do is plug in 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time into that site, and it'll tell you what time that is wherever you live in the world. Uh, some general locations, that's around 2 or 3 a.m. on the west coast of the United States, Pacific Standard Time. For you guys in the U.K. or in Europe, that's going to be around 10 or 11 a.m. in the morning. And again, there will be some slight variations, whether you live in Mountain Time or Central Time here in the U.S. Uh, I'm sure people are watching from all over the world. So again, that's why I'll leave that site in the description. It's really useful if you want to be able to Enjoy the content the second it releases in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, speaking of that content, in past updates, you've pretty much always come to expect that the content starts to show up a little bit early. Now, I don't know how that happens or why people have the ability to basically look at the content early, but essentially, two or three hours before the update comes out, a couple of members of the community are able to tell us, you know, what cars are coming in the update, what files can be found that Rockstar added new. And this usually gives us hints and clues as to what is going to be coming and what to expect. Well, unfortunately, this time, things might be a little bit different. So one of the members of the community that always used to do this was Wildbrick142. Uh, he's a staff member on the GTA forum site. Always before the updates would come out, he would be the one that would post, you know, all the new vehicles, what they look like, etc. And the other day, he responded to an individual that said, This place will blow if by some chance Wildbrick starts to data mine the vehicles tonight. And he said, I still haven't figured out how to download DLCs early on the new launcher, and I don't think I'll even have the time to. It's still possible, according to people smarter than me, maybe those people will be dropping stuff but don't expect anything from me this time around. So in case you guys are a little bit confused on what he's talking about there, remember just before the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, Rockstar introduced the Rockstar Games PC launcher, which is like a hub for all their titles. Well, now Grand Theft Auto 5 has to be run 
through that Rockstar Games launcher. And obviously you would think that that would frustrate Rockstar players able to get their hands on like what the vehicles are and you know the content coming in the update early. So with the new Rockstar Games launcher, they actually fixed the ability to do that. So it looks like at least for now with the Diamond Casino heist, don't expect to be able to find out what vehicles are coming out two or three hours early. I know some of you guys are going to be saying it's only two, two or three hours. It's not that big of a deal. You'd be surprised how many people are excited for stuff like that, even if it is just a couple of hours early. However, I'm still holding out hope. Uh, Wild Brick said that people that are smarter than him and way smarter than me say that it might be possible. And apparently, if you have the uh, Rockstar Warehouse version of it, it doesn't actually run through the new launcher. So maybe there's a chance that it can still happen with certain editions of the game. And if it does become possible to check out all the new content early, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated the morning that the update arrives on, you know, the new vehicles that are going to be added and everything else that Rockstar has included. Now, speaking of that, we've talked about the release time and the content, but we didn't talk about which consoles are going to get it first. Now, things are a little bit interesting this time, again, because of the Rockstar Games launcher, so we don't know what sort of impact that is going to have on which systems get it first. But traditionally in the past, this is the order that it has gone in. The Rockstar Warehouse version on PC was always the first one to get the new content early because it's coming directly from Rockstar. It never had to go through like a third-party service. Then the guys on the Xbox One were always the one to get it next, followed by the guys on the PlayStation 4. And last but not least, it was usually the Steam and other PC platforms that ended up getting it last uh, as far as the updates go. So again, I'm not sure if the new edition of the Rockstar Games launcher has changed any of that, if that means you know other versions will be getting it beforehand, but that's usually what happens. And sometimes that's been a significant delay, like the Xbox One guys have gotten it like an hour before the guys on Steam, which again, you don't think is significant, but if you've got you know a schedule or school or work, that could be eating into the time you have to play the new update during the day. Now, speaking of that, some other general and miscellaneous tips that I can sort of give you guys is make sure if you're playing on console or even PC for that matter, that if you're not going to be able to download the update on the like the second it comes out, uh, make sure your consoles or your PC or your Rockstar Games launcher is set to like automatically download stuff. That's the way I have it on my PS4. And it's incredibly convenient because if you aren't up at the crack of dawn when the update arrives, by the time you do get home, it, depending on your internet speed, obviously, it should already be downloaded. And that's great because you want to be able to log in and jump right into whatever is new. You don't want to have to wait for like however many gigabytes the update is. And speaking of that, that's actually a really good point. There's a good chance that because this isn't going to be another pretty big update, it'll be a large file size that you ultimately have to download. Now, we don't know what that's going to be. It could be two gigabytes, three gigabytes, four. Uh, but again, depending on your internet speed and what system you're on, that might take a good while to download. So just keep that in mind there because it's probably going to have a lot of interiors, a lot of vehicles. If there's cutscenes, we know that ends up taking up uh, a lot of space for these new DLCs. So just something to keep in mind there. Again, that's what I do on my PS4 for most of the new updates that come out. And really, last but not least, just prepare your system today. Uh, speaking of the file size itself, you know, two to three gigabytes is not a lot, but also make sure that your hard drive space is not full. You would hate to be ready to go and, you know, getting started to play the new content, but you have like an error with your download because, you know, your file size is full or your hard drive space isn't there on your PS4, Xbox One. So just sort of run through that little checklist before we get too close to Thursday. Those are all just some good things to do to basically get yourself prepared for the release of the Diamond Casino Heist, which again is coming on December 12th. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today in regards on how to prepare yourself for when the update releases. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Are you going to be waking up at the crack of dawn in order to play the Diamond Casino Heist? Are you going to be waiting until after school or work? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and the Diamond Casino Heist videos that I'm going to be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.